Hi guys, this is Sadek from Godwin.com. In this video, we'll show you how to install the OnePlus contacts, message and phone apps. So as you might be aware by default, the Oxygen OS has the apps from the Google, for example, the contacts, message and phones. Let me show you any one of them. Let's say contacts app, more features, app info. You could see we have all these apps. This is contacts from Google. Likewise, the same for the message app as well. App info is from Google as well. And same goes for the phones app. So by default, you will get all these three apps from the Google and not from the OnePlus as could be seen from here. In this video, I'll show you how to get those three apps from OnePlus only. So please take a backup of all that on your phone and let's get started. First and foremost, you will have to root the phone. Routing can be done by any of the three apps, Magis, Apache or KSU. When that is done, get the mod from here, flash the module onto your phone and that is it. I have the module onto my phone already. Just give me a second. Let me verify it once. Downloads over here and uh, okay i have the module simply open the routing app of your choice in my case case you go to modules and flash the module onto your phone once you have flashed it just tap on reboot after the flashing and once that is done your phone should now have all the three apps from oneplus which is the contacts messaging and dialer and the phone app i'll show you all the three apps now however there is one issue after flashing you will now have all the three apps from oneplus also all the three are from Google. So we have two apps for each of the tasks. For example, we have one Google and one OnePlus app of contacts, same for message and same for the phone apps. So we now have to remove that duplicate as well. You will now see something like this after flashing, you could see in my screenshot. So two apps from contacts from Google and OnePlus messaging as well and phone as well. Just let's verify it once. This is the messaging app from OnePlus. And let's keep it here. Likewise, the contacts app should be there as well. Contacts, this is from OnePlus as well. And then the phones app, this is the one. So now we have two apps from each of these, Google and OnePlus. So let's remove the one from Google. As you might be aware, it's a system app and cannot be removed directly. If you go here, you could see app info, there's no option to remove this. So there are three ways out. You may either use the editable shell command to remove the app from your phone, or you may use a third party app like Kanta to get this job done or you may simply disable the app. In this way, it will be there on your phone, but not shown in the app drawer. So for example, if you want to go to contacts and more features, app info, you may disable the app from here. Disable app. Type your password or pattern, and now you could see the contacts app is gone. It's still there on your phone, but it's not shown here. So you may either disable the app or remove it via the Kanta app or edible shell command. Let me first bring back the contacts app, and then I'll show you how this could be done. So app sim app management show system the contacts app is shown here or not? Okay, it's shown here. Let's re-enable it from here. And now the choice is all yours. If you don't want if you don't want to keep the app on your phone, then don't do it. Disable instead remove the app. For removal of the app, let's insert the USB cable onto our phone. Or you may also use the Canta app. That's quite an easy way out. Let me show you both the approaches. First off, let's have a look at the Canta app. This is a much easier way out to disable the app or remove the app from your phone without even rooting. So go to this articles, then scroll down to the link of the app. Okay, you also require Shizuku app, but no issue because we are currently obtained root. So we can use the Shizuku app via the rooting approach. That's great. So let's just get the Kanta app from here, from the asset section, and then you may get the Shizuku app from Play Store only, known as for the GitHub for Shizuku. This is the Kanta app and it's now start download and we have it now onto our PC. Let's have a look at that downloads and it's there. Let's enable file transfer from here. Verify it's you. Okay, it's me only. Then copy the app, paste the app onto your phone. This app also requires Kanta the Shizuku app to function. So let's now install this app and then we'll install the Shizuku app as well. APK not install Kanta install. Now go to Play Store and install the Shizuku app onto your phone. We're using the root approach for Shizuku app, it will be easier to work in root approach because otherwise in non-root approach, we, while this debugging is quite a lengthy approach. So simply run the app in the rooting mode because we have root on our phone. Install and open the app. Shizuku run via, okay, minimize it, close it from here. If you're using the KSU or A patch, then manually open the app and then give it the root access from there only, super user tab. From here, see the Shizuku app over here, enable super user. And now launch the Shizuku app from here on your app drawer. 
for routing which is over here tap on start it's now up and running in routing mode case of magic will now get a issue request tap on allow or grant once that is done let's now launch, launch the can tap proceed everything is fine so for example first off we have the contacts app the sake of reference let's use only one app for now you can do a search as well no issue in that let's do a search only it's quite a lengthy list contacts this is from google you can see com google android contacts choose it check mark it tap on de delete grant permission to shizuku in canada let's do that tap on this arrow allow all the time uninstall one app tap on ok success and the contacts app from google is no, no longer there you could see it's gone from here we only have the oneplus app so you may either use the the canta app the best use of this is that it does not require the pc only via the app the phone you can do all the tasks likewise you will also bring back the app and just one single tap this is again one of the best features of this app so you could see we have again got back the contacts app from google so this is the best way of, you, of doing this task on phone only no need for a pc and you can easily bring back the app but if you want to use the G, the cli method the command line interface in cli you could use this command enable usb debugging first let's try it out for the sake of reference i'll show you that as well about device go to version and tap on version number seven times then go back again go back go to system update dev options and from there enable usb debugging also get the android sdk from my article extracted onto a pc and you will get the following files now type in the command okay just give me a second this file is extra type in the command of cmd over here hit the enter key first of enable the adb shell mode adb shell hit enter okay just give me a second something wrong with the usb i suppose i'll have to verify it once again debugging turn off allow and now it's shown i suppose it should work now okay for this you have to also change this to charging only i don't know why that's the case but that is the case now so let's do that now our phone is shown here so first of let's remove the contacts app the center as for the pm uninstall double dash user zero app package name i've given all the three app package name over here so let's use the google contacts app copy the command from here and have a look at the screen the contacts app will be gone once we use this command let me just show you now open the cmd window type in the command hit enter and you could see it's now gone so this is also one way of getting the job done and if you want to bring back the app there is a command for that as well i'll have to search it in my article okay over here let's do that for now i'll show you that as well this will take some time but it's all normal we have a lot of time at hand no need to worry about this so scroll it from here and uh, at the very end i suppose how to fix no this is not here deep load deep load uh, to re reinstall remove lotware apps okay this is the command i suppose so cmd package install existing package name so copy the command form here let's make this a command first of foremost the app package name is in our case is the google contacts app so this is the package name over here copy it and paste it next to the app package name which is here now copy the entire command and again open the adb shell window it's open there paste this command let's now see if the contacts app is back or not now hit the enter key it's now installed as you could see we have got the app so guys you may either use the adb shell command which i have shown you or easier way is to simply use the canta app or if you don't want to remove the app from your phone simply turn off or disable the app this way the app will be there onto your phone but not shown in the app drawer and i guess that's just about it okay if you have two apps as you could see currently you have to make the one plus app the default one so for that just launch the app let's say the contacts app set as default calling app choose the one from one plus set as the default and you could now see agree and continue or you may also get the job done from one more menu go to settings then go to apps default apps and then you may do so from here as well let's say the phone app you could see change it to contact from one plus and it's done similarly sms app also change it to message from one plus and it's complete so guys that's all from this video if you have any query let me know in the comment section and thank you for watching the video